I'm Brandon Scroggins, pastor here at Reformation Baptist Church, and I'm so delighted to spend a few minutes with you, updating you on some important opportunities in the life of our church as we begin to move into the holidays, Thanksgiving and then Christmas. As we begin to move toward Christmas, we are celebrating the birth of Jesus Christ who came to fulfill the law of God and to give his life to save his people, to save sinners. And as we move toward this season, we move into a season of Advent in the life of the church. Advent just simply means coming. And so we celebrate the first coming of Christ and we anticipate his second coming. To help us do that, we have family worship guides available for every family and we hope you'll join us. We're reading through Sinclair's book, Love Came Down at Christmas. It's divided up into enough days to take you uh, all the way through the Advent season, which begins on the fourth Sunday before Christmas. That'll be the last Sunday in November. And so we'll be reading through an exposition of 1 Corinthians 13 and how Jesus Christ is the fulfillment of all of it. What a timely book to walk through for Advent in our families right now as we've just finished our exposition through the book of 1 Corinthians. It's 24 short readings and it'll be a delight for you in your home. Invite others to join you. Well, as we begin to move into this season, I want to encourage you to catch the hymn, creed, and verse of the month videos and to be using those in your home. For the month of November, we're singing Thou Who Was Rich, hymn number 219 in the Hymns of Grace hymnal. And we're walking through several modern statements of faith, the Danvers Statement, the uh, Nashville Statement, the social Statement on Social Justice and the Gospel, the Statement on Biblical Inerrancy, the Chicago Statement, and then the Ligonier Statement on Christology. They're important modern statements that are confronting error and exalting the truth. And we're learning Psalm 106, verse 1, a verse about thanksgiving as we move toward thanksgiving. But as we enter into the waters of December, I'm so excited to sing Exalt in the Savior's Birth. We're going to love that hymn, and we're going to sing it as we confess the Nicene Creed such as central hymn in the life of the church since the fourth century. And then we'll be memorizing Isaiah chapter nine, verse six, which points to the promises that are made and then kept in Jesus Christ. That very verse is reflected in the hymn that we'll be singing as well. And so you'll want to be learning these. On Sunday morning, we have been walking through the Psalms, Psalm 144, and then 73, 74, and then just in time for Thanksgiving, Psalm 75, which ties right into the importance of gratitude. But as we begin to move into December, we will begin a brand new series through the book of Ezra. We will see those promises that are made as God's people are coming back from exile and ruins, and they begin to rebuild the ruins and they begin to point to the redemption that would come through the birth of Jesus Christ. And then as we begin to make our way toward Christmas Day and New Year's, we'll pause and we'll see the fulfillment of it in Colossians chapter 1, verses 15 through 23. And we'll see the supremacy and the sufficiency of Jesus Christ. We are so excited as well that Christmas falls on the Lord's Day, Sunday, De December 25th. We'll obviously have uh, church on that day, but we'll keep it to an hour-long service. We'll celebrate the Lord's Supper. We'll sing Christmas hymns, exalting Christ, and we'll have a bit of a, an abbreviated message in Colossians chapter 1, and we'll be together. We'll be together to worship in light of that. But we also have a very, very important Sunday uh, or, or a couple of, of times of worship around that. On January 1st, on New Year's, we'll continue our Colossians 1 series. But then backing up even before then, I want to invite you to a very, very important service. On December 21st, we'll have our candlelight Christmas family service. We won't have nursery. We'll all be together from 6.30 to 7.30 for a one-hour service where we'll be singing all sorts of wonderful hymns I'll have a special devotion for our children. I'll call you forward, followed by a prize. We'll pray together. We'll read scripture. And then afterwards, we'll have a finger food fellowship. It's one of our best services of the entire year. It's a wonderful time to invite family and friends to join us as well. On Wednesday nights, on the 23rd of November, we won't have service the week of Thanksgiving. 
Uh, so I want to encourage you to practice family worship, to extend hospitality to others. And then we will have service the last Wednesday of the year as well. But on Wednesday, November 30th, the end of November, we have a special service. We're going to have a special guest that will come and we'll enjoy a fellowship dinner together. And then we're going to enjoy a reenactment from a guest who will be portraying William Bradford and the Pilgrims and the Early Puritans. During the month of October, we retold the stories of the Reformation heroes. Now we'll fast forward about 100 years to the early 1600s to see that Reformation theology, the sufficiency of Scripture, play out in the life of the Pilgrims and the Puritans. It's so important to be retelling the stories, the stories of our faith. And so from Thanksgiving all the way through Christmas on Sundays and on Wednesdays, there's so many opportunities to recall uh, the story of God and why we should be grateful and who we adore this time of year. There's opportunities to reach out to our local community. We'll be serving at Brantwood and uh, we'll be praying for our missionaries and loving them and supporting them. And so I hope you'll join us for any, for all of these opportunities. And I hope that you'll come with hearts prepared to worship the Lord during this time of year. Thank you for joining me.